Hello, everyone, and welcome to this special edition of Business Incorporated. Thank you for joining us here in Nigeria and around the world. I am Bosun Amofaye. On the show today, Nigeria's Monetary Policy Committee is set to announce its rate decisions within the hour. Meantime, the United Kingdom has announced Boris Johnson as the new Prime Minister for number 10 Downing Street. Meantime, Chinese state-owned car company BAIC to buy 5% stake in Germany's automaker Daimler. So let's start from home, where it's a big day here as the Monetary Policy Committee is set to announce the monetary policy measures for the next two months. The MPC meeting, which started on Monday, is the first since the commencement of President Buhari's second term in office on May the 29th. Key lending rates currently are 13.5% and inflation moderating to 11.22% in June. The announcement to be made within the next uh, hour will be live here on China television, of course, with our panel of analysts here at our headquarters studio. But let's get started. What's happening outside Nigeria's shores? European stocks today trading higher in the morning as the pan-European stock 600, the broad index of the heavily capitalized companies, was up around half a percent in early deals. Auto stocks jumping 2.6 percent, leading the gains where travel and leisure stocks slipped 0.4 percent. Only two of the sectors were in the red. End of season. It's also in top gear. So let's bring in my colleague, Chelsea Delaney of the DWTV, out to us from Frankfurt Stock Exchange to unpack some of these stories for us. Uh, Delaney, welcome to the program. Let's get the conversation I'll start here from here. A big day for us in Nigeria, but of course, in corporate news across the market, the Chinese state-owned car, BIC, it says it's buying 5% stake in and Daimler. Uh, what is this relationship all about, this collaboration between China and Germany? Well, BAC and Daimler are both saying, you know, this is a symbol of our long-term commitment to this project that we've been doing, but analysts see it a little more strategically. So, uh, you know, Daimler and, and BAC have had this, uh, have had these joint partnerships for uh, basically since 2003, but because of Chinese laws, uh, Daimler wasn't able to be a majority owner. Last year, those laws changed, and now Daimler would be able to be a majority owner in this, uh, in this joint venture that's really important to the future of this company. So China is basically the largest car market right now. It's where all of the technology is being developed for electric cars and uh, automatic driving, things like that. So uh, basically Daimler wants to, Daimler may want to be, become the majority owner of this, of this joint venture and sort of giving BAC a little bit of uh, influence over it by letting them take the stake, it could sort of be um, leveling the playing field. So European earnings uh, seizing. So uh, give us some of the better than uh, expected earnings uh, from the banks such as uh, UBS and Satander. So there we are, two big European banks out today. Uh, reporting earnings for the second quarter, and there's been a lot of concern recently about European banks. Um, there's uh, been these ongoing legal issues, regulatory issues, which has hurt a lot of hurt a lot of banks, weight on their profits, but also, you know, a lot of banks are dealing with low interest rates, which really crimps their profitability, um, and just generally losing ground in this battle for global assets to banks in the U.S. So. Uh, investors were really, really looking to see, you know, how, how are European banks doing? Are they healthy? And there were two today that were pretty good. UBS um, came out and said its profits was its highest in almost a decade. Uh, and Santander also reported profit that was uh, pretty well above what analysts were expecting. Uh, both stocks are up 3% uh, in, in trading here. Um, so I think, you know, investors are, are looking at this and also some more bank reports we have later in this week, Deutsche Bank is reporting tomorrow, um, just to see, you know, they're going to be looking at this as a, as a symbol of, of how European banks are holding up right now. Uh, Chelsea, thank you so much. Uh, out to us from the trading floor, the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. Thank you so much and get you back on the show tomorrow.